Hello and welcome to Collider Games exclusive gameplay reveal of Troll Hunters Defenders of Arcadia. This action platformer based on the hit DreamWorks animated series comes from developer WayForward and publisher Outright Games and it'll be out on the Switch, Xbox, PS4, and PC on September 25th but we're here about a week early to give you an exclusive sneak peek. My name is Dave Trombor, I'm the senior editor at Collider for Games, also known as Dr. Claw MD, and I am joined today by Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia star, the voice of Toby himself, Charlie Saxton. How's it going, Sarah? Thanks for joining. Dude, it's so nice to put a name to a face, Dr. Yeah. Claw MD. I've followed you on Twitter for, for many, many years, and it's Thank nice so to much. meet you digitally in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on the virtual couch having. here. Absolutely. Yeah, Welcome exactly. to the, the virtual co-op couch. Yeah, we're going to get through some... Uh, some gameplay here. I'm going to show off some stuff for you. Uh, I wish I could hand the controller over to you because you're probably better at this than I am. Um, but oh, no, doubtful. it should be a good time. I get so nervous when everyone, when anyone tries to watch me play a video game in general. So I'm more than happy to watch you take over and commentate. The cool thing is you just get to hang out today and uh, and watch exactly. as we play along. So let's, uh, let's jump go, right into it. Ah, let's yeah, do it. Exactly. So yeah, this uh, this game here is meant for kids. Uh, so it should be right in my wheelhouse as far as difficulty goes. Speaking of difficulty, we're going to start on normal here. Uh, there is I love a troll that the other difficulty yeah. is troll. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's and great. That's probably too much for me right now. But no, we'll yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in New Jersey. Somewhere in New Jersey. Oh, man, there's Troll Jim. Jimbo, you there? Hey, who's that? Hey, that's me. Well, <laughs> that's the character I play. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be really careful not to call you Toby accidentally uh, during the course oh, of this. It's fine. I'll let it slide. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, being in, involved with uh, Tales of Arcadia, like pretty much every instance of uh, the DreamWorks series, what was it like jumping from the, you know, the day-to-day -day kind of recording for the TV show versus jumping in for a game? Yeah, it, it was a little bit different because, you know, when you're watching a, a animated show or a movie or anything like that, you're following one story line and you're seeing that one succinct uh, flow when you're recording a video game there are hundreds if not thousands of different routes that you can take um, so having to record different lines different ways with different inflections it was definitely a lot more uh, draining than your normal your normal uh, television record but definitely it's just so much fun I, I, I can't believe that they made a video game out of it it's, it's a dream come true was that your first, a uh, DreamWorks come true? Was that your first uh, <laughs> uh, uh, job in a video game, or have you worked in the video game space before? I have worked in the video game space oh, before. When I was when I was a youngster, I was one of the voices in the I Spy Scholastic uh, oh, nice. CD-ROM games. And then when I was 16, I did the motion capture and the voiceover work for a character in a game called Bully from okay. uh, Rockstar Games. Yeah, I, oh, Rockstar I played a what? nerd. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Um, I, I played this character, and I think they molded the character after me after I got cast because it looked pretty similar to how I looked when I was a 16-year-old nerd. That's really funny. Uh, speaking yeah. of uh, molding the characters and stuff here, I'm just as we're going through, uh, Jim here slicing, slashing up, dicing. We got the sword combo going. We got, ooh, we got a, ooh, ooh, we got a nougat nummy. Delicious. Okay. I, mean, I feel like Good. I'm gonna need that in a bit. You we're, are. We're, we're doing okay with health uh, so far. <laughs> a they generous protein. Okay. Exactly, yeah. A little burst of sugar for you. Your simple carbohydrates. Oh, man. Gotta get the goblins. I love Toby popping up to kind of help me out there. Just to offer Absolutely. a word of encouragement, so I appreciate that. Oh, there you guys are in the background. That's all I'm probably good for if I was in a troll hunting fight. I would just be the one on the sideline being like, you got this, man! <laughs> just cheerleading. Kick his ass! Yeah. <laughs> I love the uh, the armor, though. You've got the armor set up there. It's good to go. Yeah. Oh, no, the pirate oh, troll. Yeah, if you guys have been following the story here, we're we're battling irate pirate trolls. Uh, so so keep an eye out for those guys. Um, it's yeah. funny you said you're in. They are in New Jersey. No you're I guess in New Jersey. I'm in like the shadow realm here. I think. Yeah, Lost you're in the uh, you're somewhere. in the dark lands. You have to come get me out. But in the meantime, we'll play through here. So this is kind of our our story introduction. So it's it's kind of a standalone. I think this takes place. Uh, just before Wizards, I think this takes place at the end of uh, Three Below. So between Three Below and Wizards. Pretty cool. And that's what I love about this whole franchise is that they just can weave everything into yeah. everything else so seamlessly that like you don't see it the first time around. You have to go back and you watch other episodes and you see characters running in the background that you didn't see before. So it's just, it's just so fun. <laughs> speaking of going back and, and visiting things again, like I can't wait to show off more of this game. Uh, in the, oh, so now we're in Arcadia Oaks. Okay. Okay. 
i can't wait to kind of sh- go back and, and show off more of this uh just the background stuff like i'm oh, hyper focused yeah. on staying alive but there's a lot of really yes. cool stuff in the background so if you see something that like is an easter egg or something you want to call That's out feel free yeah oh i'm sure this game will be chock full of them if i know the people behind the tales of arcadia trilogy oh there's merlin absolutely yeah He's really? walking us through. I'm sure he's going to get us into some kind of trouble. Always. Yeah, it seems like we're in some kind of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just the stern. But yeah, we want to. The arms folded. Mm-hmm. Oh, Toby's doing the uwu face. <laughs> Is that a good sign or a bad sign for me? It's just a cute sign for you. He's just being cute. Oh, okay, good. Typical Toby. I'll take it. I hope that I hope that gives me like a, a new heart container. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is cool. This is a neat thing to jump into as like a different way to experience the the tales of Arcadia. Yeah. You know, it's a different story, a different uh, way to experience that rather than just watching it. You get to participate and play in it, and that's been super cool, super Can comfortable. Can I any time? Time travel? That's not possible. Of course it is, if you have the right magic. However, I've never known a troll to have it. So if Porgon can send me through time to Arcadia, then... When am I? Um, what was I going to say was, um, I I love that the game is like a platform side scroller, like old school yeah. arcade feel, because that's just what this whole show and series has felt like to me. It's like those awesome 80s, fantastical sci fi fan, you know ensemble cast and the yep. fact that it's got that nice it's not quite 8-bit which is okay i guess but um yeah the feel of like you're in an arcade with your friends playing the troll hunters game is pretty rad that is pretty cool um, I'm, I'm hoping we get to see some more of toby as we go through here but speaking of cast i mean a fantastic cast that's assembled not just for your show uh, but for the game as well um and real quick, oh my gosh. real quick for this game i think we're gonna this is kind of the first main level here but i think we're gonna pop over and show you guys uh, a bit no of an advanced level here run. in a second, but but yeah, Let's sorry, interrupted it. your uh, your cast. If you'd like to highlight some some of those, yeah, uh, you got Emil Hirsch yeah. as Jim, you got Lexi Madrano as Claire, David Bradley as Merlin, and uh, well, me as Toby. And I also oh, was fortunate fine, enough to man. voice a couple of goblins in the game. Oh, so if you cool. listen closely, I was wondering you if you that. if you had a couple extra uh, voice roles in there other than Toby. That's that's always cool to hear. Yeah, I've got the voice of Goblin, and I, th- I think that, that may have been all of them. Did you want to give us your best Goblin now? Am I putting you on the spot? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a warm-up. Gotcha. Nice. That was perfect. I've got the weird the Goblin mustache going here, too. So, so that'll be no, Your quarantine beer looks great, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. It's good. Yeah. It's coming in nicely. I will say, since Merlin keeps popping up on our screen here too, uh, it's nice to see David Bradley playing like a, a positive, heroic character. He's yeah. always cast as like a villain, and he does a great job. But it's nice to see totally. him get a chance to go the other way. Yeah. How do we fix yeah, he just crushes it in this role. He's so funny. Did you get a chance to hang out? Uh, you know, pre-COVID, did you get a chance to hang out with the cast uh, very much at all, or was it kind of isolated? I I I've never met David personally, okay. but Lexi is awesome. Uh, Mila is great. Um, my most okay. favorite person that I've gotten to meet via the show is probably Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there was, I think it was the premiere of the final season of Troll Hunters. Oh. Their DreamWorks had this big premiere party, and Guillermo was there, and Mark Hamill oh, was wow. there, and they gave this big speech beforehand, and Mark Hamill goes, and I heard that Toby is here. <laughs> is Toby here? Stand up, Toby. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, Hello, man, sir. Right? Yeah, exactly. See, if Mark um, Hamill puts you on the spot, I don't feel quite so bad then. Because if he did it, then, you know. Then you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's no big deal. <laughs> That's no big deal coming from me. Uh, you oh, mentioned... There's Duke C. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, if you look at the top of the screen, we've got some assists. So Toby will, will pop up as uh, some dialogue options and kind of let us know what's going on. But, yeah, we'll scroll through up there. And there's Toby oh, up top. Oh, there I am. Yes, yeah, so we've okay. got some assists in the game, which will come in handy like in a that. variety of different ways. So, uh, as I figured out while playing through this game, you kind of need your allies to get through it. Yes. So much like uh, the game, yeah, or much like the buddies. show itself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love the sets, man. So cool. Yeah, they're super cool. And they get increasingly challenging. Like we said, this is kind of a game that's uh, meant for younger players and fans of the show. But being a <clears throat> 30-something fan of the show myself and a fan of video <laughs> games, it's it's super fun uh, for really any ages. You it. Exactly. Oh, hold yeah. on, what was that up there? There's something floating around up there. Gotta, gotta oh, it's a sock. There. You gotta get that sock, gotta dude. Gotta get that sock. I feel like somebody needs that sock. that sock. There we go. Dirty socks. Wow, this nice. is great. I love it. Hm. 
Oh, man. Sand dirty socks for our, our troll friends. Dirty socks. <laughs> So let's try this glide. And then again you gotta here. get Noam Chomsky's too. I wonder what does what does Chomsky help you with? We do, and I there have been a bunch of uh, gnomes kind of running around, and uh, I don't know if we'll find any here. But they're kind of like okay. collectibles. So there's a ton of stuff in the game. You know, you had the nougat nummies. You can see up in the top right. Oh no, the you, gum gums! Oh, I was looking at my socks and I <laughs> ran right into that. Shit. Um, we've got the nougat nummies. We got the assists here from our allies. You got the dirty socks up there in the corner, and then the gnome Chomsky's. They're really fun because they kind of like, they pop up at random places. You can hear them. They'll kind of like, oh. like uh, mm -hmm. their, their little screech sounds. And you'll hear them, and you have to track them down and try to find them. Uh, and then, yeah, once you get your collections, it's like a, a point modifier and a, a kind of like a 100% completion thing if you want to go for that. Yeah. So we took a couple One of hard the... knocks there. Let's try this again. Nice. Uh, <laughs> the voice of Noam Chomsky on the show is played by our brilliant, uh, one of our directors, Rodrigo Blas. Oh, and yeah. every anytime... Uh, I, Toby has a scene with uh, Noam Chomsky and Rodrigo, Rodrigo was in the room. I'd be like, you know, I just, can you give me his line? I just need <laughs> that. I need that motivation as Noam Chomsky, just just so I can hear it because it's exactly. beautiful. Well, you get to hear it in this game, uh, just replicated <laughs> as many times Absolutely. as you want. So keep it yeah. for Rodrigo and uh, and then catch him. You got to catch them all. Yeah. Catch all the Rodrigos. Catch all the Rodrigos. <laughs> Oh yeah, what is that up there? Oh, I didn't quite make that jump. That was the Ooh, horn gazel. You need oh, that to get into get troll market. We gotta get that. Get it. Huh. Nice. Okay, we got that. Chalk drawn got the horn gazel. Worth it. Worth the sacrifice play there. That's fine. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week. Nice but I think we're gonna call play. in another assist here. Now this is and an there's unexpected Angler assist. Rust. Yeah. You don't expect to help you out, right? Not not at first, but right? As fans of the the series will know, Angerot has has a bit of a change of heart. I won't say too much for those who haven't seen it. Oh, but man, those things. Yeah. Oh well, there's there's our first defeat. There's that. That's... Hey, we had to show you a game over screen. So uh, so there you go. That's a that's a good glimpse of the gameplay. But there's a lot more. Let's check out some of the uh, mini games and stuff that we can do yeah. by heading to. Dun dun dun! Drum roll, please. Troll market. This should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of little mini games and stuff here. Um, I think you guys are gonna have a good time with this. So if you need a little break from the the side scrolling action platforming uh, story, you can pop on into Troll Market and do quite a bit of stuff as you're about to see. Oh look, there's Lug running away. There's Lug running away. There's Arg. Oh, there's Arg in the deep back. <laughs> I love, we'll it. I love it. I love the game where you have to yeah. collect coins to be able to do stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, we've definitely yeah, got some in your way. stuff. Yeah. You can't just restart. <laughs> but yeah, normally that won't happen. If you get defeated, yeah, you you have the option of uh, continuing with those coins. So yeah, like you mentioned, it is actually worth grabbing every coin that you can along the way, uh, especially if you want that like. 100% run. But we've got some more story stuff going here. How much of this story did you kind of uh, know ahead of time uh, before you actually got to see the gameplay? I know you obviously had the script, but I'm curious about if you know where the yeah. story's going. I'm trying to get a scoop I, out of you because I don't know where it's going. I, I personally, I don't because like I said, the, it, the scripts for video games are just so massive and just so dense that, you know, I, uh, I mostly only got the stuff with Toby, so I also am sure. pretty stoked to check this game out and see everything and because I knew that it was written by someone who had worked on the show as well. So oh. it's written by someone who knows the show and loves the show and is a fan of the show. And I feel like that's the same with everybody else who works on it. We're all kind of dorks for this show. Um, oh, there's Bagduella. Oh, and I like, oh, I like yes, Toby's please, costume. Go, go, she, she. Yeah, well, heck yeah, yeah we're going to go try it out. It's uh, it's time to eat. We got lunchtime here oh, in the so game. So oh, look at this. Oh, this is man, super cute. this is great. Okay, no pressure. Yeah, I got to look at the tutorial here real quick. Look for this that bad so sushi. Fun. Okay. Watch out for that bad sushi. Why is a beat a bad sushi? Is it? Oh, that's. Well, I guess it's technically not sushi, so maybe I mean, that's. I'm why. not a fan of beets myself, so I no, shouldn't sure. even be asking that question. Eat your vegetables, kids. Sushi too. Though. Sushi's <laughs> good for you too. Let's see if I can uh, make make sushi cat proud here. Let's try. Oh man. Oh, we got a. This is oh, so cute. This is cool. You got to catch. This is really crisp. Oh, so yeah. there's a bad sushi. That's kind of cool. It's that's like a bad easy. head of lettuce. Yeah, it's look pretty. It's got stink lines on it. It's pretty rotten. Let's get that squid there. I think we're... Oh, yeah, this is oh. pretty crisp. This is good. I'm feeling good. I like it. I like it. You're feeling... Yep, you're doing it. There's some It's sashimi. making me hungry, but I'm feeling good. I know. That crunchy roll looks banging. Got, yeah. Ooh, some shrimps. <laughs> I think I've got the little smiley faces on it, though, too, which makes me kind of yeah. sad for eating them, but not really. <laughs> they are delicious and tasty. They're okay. They're okay. They'll be fine. 
Oh, we got a little bonus Ooh, multiplier you... there. Nice. <laughs> Run out of time here. Gotta, gotta, gotta get the high score. This is where I would literally hand it to you on the couch and just be like, all right, let's see who gets a high score. Sushi yeah, time. Yeah, I, I feel like I would... Yeah, I would do well at Go-Go Sushi. So? That's a nice left to right using you know, your reflexes <laughs> and your hand-eye coordination. Next time. Everything else is too much pressure. I set the high yeah. score on the machine for this time, so next time it's it's for you. See if you can top it. You got it. <laughs> Let's see what other mini games we got here. There's a bunch of stuff. Yes, uh, in the please. Market. Some really fun stuff. Some kind of like. I uh, love that there are mini games. <laughs> yeah, mini games in the game itself. Like I said, it's a nice, it's a nice kind of break if you want uh, a little bit extra story because you get to hang out with all the different Speaking characters. Of Mark Hamill. There's Dictatious right there. there. You go. Yeah, it's cool. A lot of these characters you, you can interact with too. So let's 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 How's see who we can chat with oh. here. Chat with Claire. Hey Claire. Oh Petunia. <gasps> Petunia. So there's talking Easter eggs. I like that they mm -hmm. let you know. They're like, in case you don't remember, like season one, episode eight, or whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know which one it was. Uh, they're like, here you go. You can go back and check it out. But unfortunately, Platoon, <laughs> that that episode is one of my favorites oh, yeah? because, as I was explaining earlier, it it's perfectly executed. Where one episode is, you know, Jim, Toby, and Claire are taking oh. care of their flower sack babies, mm. but then the next episode is from the perspective of, I think it's Steve and Eli. Oh, right. And it's crazy just seeing like times overlapping and characters sneaking in the background. And it's just so, so clever. Yeah, Ooh, really Vendel. We got other yeah. armor. And Vendel's uh, a vendor in this one. So we can get all Vendel's kinds of- Vendel's a uh, vendor. Vendel the vendor. We get all kinds of um, armor upgrades, which clearly I'm gonna need in this game. Yeah, And then definitely. I think we'll show off some, uh, we'll look for some items and stuff too that we Kanjig can- Magic uh, armor. Yeah, the candy These names are so clever. Aren't they, though? They're super punny. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Look at this little Again, smile. He's you got to collect those coins to get them. That's yeah, good. I, I like yeah. that. It's good currency here. But she there are other ones in here that are just super fun. Oh, let's see what... Uh, oh, speaking of... Oh, Strickland. there's Stricklander. Young Atlas. Oh, yes. <laughs> see, now, this would have come in handy earlier. I should have gone yeah. to talk to Stricklander to be like, ah, this is how you play the game. <laughs> so it's good to know. He's got, <laughs> he's got pro tips for me. I'm learning everything I need to know for when I eventually play See, it. exactly. You've already got a leg up. And so does everybody else out there who's watching this for the yeah. first time before the game shows up next week. So learn from my mistakes, kids. Hey, it's will, a wise wumpa lady. A lot. Oh, let's go chat with her if we can when we get back out. What do we got in here, though? Let's see what we got here. It looks like another mini game. Tossing gnomes. Ooh. Who doesn't love tossing gnomes? <laughs> I mean, Sorry, I could be Rodrigo. into that. <laughs> <laughs> Launch a gnome, hit every target. Oh, okay. it's like a target practice game. This is okay. spectacular. I played some Ocarina awesome. back in my day. I think I got this. All right. Slingshot, all right. slingshot game. Yeah, yeah. See, we got this. Oh, it's all, oh, it moves. Nice. That was a bullseye. I don't know if you saw that. Oh. Boom. Second oh, bullseye. There. Now the pressure's on. Yeah, now we whip oh. it. All right. <laughs> Can't always be That's perfect. That's true. That's true. I have to show uh, the folks at home that it's okay to not hit a bullseye every time. Well, that's absolutely. Oh, watch out for the pan. Oh, okay, oh, smart. Pan smart. blocked. Oh, okay, we get some extra, so we extra you can keep enough. playing. So the better you score, I guess it's. I wonder if it's counting bullseyes up top, but that's cool. Oh, wow. So you get you get coin rewards. Racking up some coins. Yeah. Nice. Look at all our gnomes at the bottom just chattering at each other. Just chilling. <laughs> I'll see what else we got in troll market here. I love the amulet is the loading screen. Yeah, there's so many cool like sweet, sweet touch. the interstitials and stuff between these these screens. Even like the game over screens and stuff, they have a lot of lore yeah. and stuff in them too. So it's it's that's that's why I died and showed you guys what the game over screen looks like, just so you can enjoy it. Uh, Obviously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is super cool. I'm I'm yeah. I'm looking forward to like doing a full run through. Um, I think the game will run you. Roughly around eight hours, I think maybe twelve hours if you want to do a hundred percent run. Holy so, smokes. Yeah, it's a good amount. Yeah. I think there's like twenty levels, and you've got some some like boss battles, and you have a lot of like skills and stuff to pick up, and some inventory to max out. There's a lot of stuff to find in here. Um, I remember it was a oh rot gut. I love it. <laughs> That's a great character. Like what a great character creation right there. Yeah. Did we ever get to see rot gut outside of the outside of the door? I can't recall, maybe, but uh, uh, I think it's the voice of uh, Rot is uh, voiced by Brooke Chalmers, who is one of the directors on Wizards. Oh, very cool. I didn't know that. See? Learn and he's been, with, he's been with, yeah, he's been with the whole franchise from the very, very oh, beginning. Cool. He was a script coordinator, and then, yeah, and then, yeah, he's great. So just talking to random, a random, there's Wampa, big fan of the... I love that one of the trolls is named Schmidt. Schmidt. 
I wonder if it's after Andrew Schmidt. Is that some... Who's also a director on the I show. Bet you it is, then. There's some insider <laughs> trivia for you if you want to know who Schmidt is. Exactly. That's really funny. Um, talking about all the, like, just different characters and just the amount of lore that goes into this game, you mentioned yeah. Guillermo. You name-dropped him earlier. Uh, oh, hold on. We got a pet Luke here. Can we pet the dog? Pet. Oh, Whoa. what? Not just any you dog. You can pet the dog, and then what? Oh, we get a coin you collection around. a mini game. That's pretty Sweet. cool. That's great. Any game where you can pet the dog, I it automatically gets bonus points. And then to actually reward you with like loot and a chance to get more stuff, I mean, come on. I uh, I've been spending a lot of the quarantine playing Red Dead Redemption, oh, yeah. and I'm not a very good outlaw, but I love petting dogs. <laughs> I love patting my horse. Can you pet the dog? Uh, again, playing yeah. poker. So yeah, no, that's. I was wondering like what kind of games that you played because obviously this is a uh, mostly like action platformer kind of thing. But is this is this yeah. up, up your alley? Is this the kind of games you play growing up or play oh, now? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love like the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja oh, yeah. Turtles, Turtles in Time, uh, the Simpsons game. Tough game, game. tough game too. Yeah, yep. yeah. And this game, don't let it fool you. Like it's, it's. I'm kind of moseying through it because we're in early stages here. Uh, let's see what I need here for this. You though. need that armor. Oh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. But we, we were talking about the man, the myth. Oh yeah. Like Guillermo del Toro. What's your experience with been with him? Like, how you guys have been working on this for a long time? So, how's how's it been working with uh, GDT? Yeah, it's surreal is the okay. only way to describe it. I remember the first record. It was me, Rodrigo, Guillermo, and Anton, and I was so nervous. And Guillermo could not have been more kind and just like eased everything. He's just a big kid you know he's got <laughs> such a big heart and he's just so he's got so many ideas he's like turning in his head at any given moment um but so that was the first uh instance meeting him and it was just like this is crazy like I, it didn't feel real and i remember uh when when the show first came out i sent him this uh message on twitter just being like thank you so much you know this is a dream come true for me because i'm a huge fan of the goonies and all my life i've wanted to be like a chunk in my own sure. version of the Goonies, and Gamma wrote back, "You are Chunk 3.0, better model." <laughs> <laughs> you got the upgrade. You got the upgrade yeah. on Chunk. You Chunk for a yeah. new generation, though, which I like. Exactly. Uh, just yeah, checking out some items flattered. here for you guys, so you, you should yeah. recognize these from the show as well, too. But yeah. You got a little totem doll. You got an Angara. Like the Grit Shaka. I don't know if you saw doll. that, but yeah. Yeah, the Grit Shaka. Always good. Now Guillermo, Keep it crispy. Guillermo was my oh, uh, my first actual on camera interview way back almost ten years ago now. Um, no way. So we're, we're coming full circle here with with you today. So thank you for helping me to complete the uh, the Troll Hunters collection. You're very welcome. That's crazy <laughs> I because I think it was like after I started the series, he gave an interview where he said the character of Toby mm. is based off of him as a ten year old. That's crazy. And had I known that going into it, I would have had so much added pressure yeah. on my shoulders. <laughs> a little bit more anxiety. <laughs> Speaking of anxiety, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna check this out here and then I think we're gonna pop back over into the main game to show you some of the later levels yeah. here too. So the pressure will be back right. on my shoulders to actually uh, perform. I get to <laughs> I get to stop window shopping here and uh, actually have to put in work so we'll do that again too. Uh, but I love the another fun yeah, yeah. story I have is the, uh, the when the show premiered, we premiered at New York Comic Con, oh. and it was this, it was the first time I had ever done any con yeah. of any sort, and we were in the main hall, and it was me, Guillermo, Ron Perlman, Kelsey Grammer, Steve Yun. Yeah. Uh, and for some reason, my chair was smack dab in the middle, so I'm just looking around. <laughs> um, but the the point of the story was it was Guillermo's birthday that oh, day. Oh wow! So um, I get asked like one question, and in the middle of my answer, Ron Perlman just like walks off stage, and I'm like, what are, "What's up with this chair?" Because I, I had just met him for the first time yeah. too. Yeah. And then uh, next thing I know, he's coming back on stage holding a birthday cake oh, wow. was, like, in the whole hall, saying "Happy birthday to Guillermo." That's was, so cool. It was pretty cute. It was great. That's such a cool story. Like Sorry, that, uh... I, Flying Skull Castle just stole my attention. <laughs> oh no, I know. It's very much like, wait, what? Uh, if you guys yeah. haven't watched Wizards yet, you need to remedy that immediately uh, and then pop back into this game that's what i love about this too though it, it really does uh kind of encapsulate the entirety of the tales of arcadia you get a little bit of three below a lot of troll hunters and in later stages you get some wizards get some wizards yeah and i'm wondering too if this is going to bridge i don't know how much you can talk about but uh, the movie that's coming out yes yeah yeah um what can troll you hunters about rise of titans yeah. uh i can tell you that it's being made <laughs> that's great that 
It is absolutely bonkers. Um, it is awesome sauce Diablo Maximus <laughs> burrito with guacamole added. It is which we've got in the game too. So yeah, good. You're gonna need it. <laughs> no, I, uh, I I can't wait. It's got some of the most action-packed, funny, heart-wrenching thriller moments that you know we haven't gotten to do because it's, it's yeah. you know you have 30 minutes to tell the one yeah. story and you have to keep going this is just like all right all bets are off and exactly. i really that this game is a really good like you're saying encapsulation of everything in the same universe but the movie is just gonna take it to the next level pun intended Man, can't <laughs> wait. i really can't wait for that so this will be great in the meantime you can kind of like if you finished Wizards, if you finished all the Tales of Arcadia so far, this will be yeah. a new kind of chapter, a new story that you guys can explore and, and check out. And then, you know, kind of also fill that time until the, the movie comes out. So Absolutely. super looking forward to that, too, as I oh no! uh, sail Plummet. into the abyss. This is why I ended up in the Shadow Realm here. Uh, I got to watch out for these things, too. These things, are, they got a big hitbox on them. So watch out for those spiky yeah. like, cactus platforms. They're nasty. Oh, okay, so red <laughs> goblins are even worse than the green goblins, just Apparently. so... Yeah. We're all clear, yeah. The goblins will come out of nowhere and just end your day. There we go. We got our jump. Yeah. So we're okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like it's it starts off relatively easy. It kind of it kind of takes you through the paces and teaches you the the ins and outs of the game, and then it throws some complicated it's stuff at you. It's challenging. See in a bit. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot of I'm, challenge. I'm you glad we live in the future. Too. And not in <laughs> Super Nintendo, where like nothing saved. You had to like. Yes. I remember my dad was trying to beat the Ghostbusters Sega game and game, you couldn't man. save it. It was so hard and so it you was. had to play it all the way through. And uh, my older sister was like trying to learn. This is a terrible story now that you about it. My older sister was trying <laughs> to learn how to tie her shoes and my dad was like, I'm almost done this game. I love Please just wait five minutes. My sister just does not know how to tie her shoes to this day. <laughs> That's a shame. That's a, but your dad beat the game, I hope, is the moral exactly, of that story. Okay, good. Yeah. So it was worth it. He did, She'll yeah. figure it out yeah, eventually. It She'll worth. be fine. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> no, I, she has a kid of her own. She can teach her to fine. tie her shoes. They'll learn together. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that. I love watching, like, speed runs. I actually, as I'm playing this game, like, I'm, I'm thinking about speed running. Like, I want to see somebody yeah. speed run this game. I would like to do it myself. Uh, with that would be quite uh, impressive. More practice. Um, <laughs> as, I, as I die uh, to a goblin, I think. Um, but yeah, like a speed run of this would be super fun because there's a lot of interesting kind of like movement tech in it too. And there are some passages that you can actually access more easily than I thought uh, based on uh, the different allies and stuff and the skills and the support. The allies, yeah. There's some pretty cool That's stuff awesome. here. So I'm looking forward to that. But speedrunning, man, I love watching that stuff because it, yeah. these experts make games like Ghostbusters or Simpsons or and then eventually Troll Hunters. They make them look so yeah. easy and they make us look so bad at the games. Absolutely. So Get that gum gum. There you go, we Dave. Took him down. We took him down. I'm feeling it now. I feel like I'm in the groove here. I think we're yeah. I think we're You're coming on a roll. home stretch. Uh, we're going to show you guys some of the later kind of levels here. Uh, another assist. Yeah, get that, that armor dash. Okay. And we'll show you kind of uh, some maybe end game levels. We're not going to take you all the way to the end. You guys are going to have to find that on your own, unfortunately. Let's grab, this, that yourself. Let's grab this sock here, though. Oh, that's a striped yeah, sock. That's a, that's a tasty sock. Which socks do you think yeah. are the tastiest? Oh, Argyle, without Definitely a doubt. Argyle? Okay. Argyle, a nice little paisley sock. Ooh, we've got our uh, oh, no. big bad showing up down here. Yeah. Which you guys should know if you watch Wizards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is showing you kind of where this this takes place in the story. Not to give away any spoilers and to bring Toby back in for a, right. a big uh, hammer smash there. Wow, these levels are yeah, awesome. Yeah, like kind of. Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be like, getting, on the, like yeah. insight and like interviews <laughs> where I was just like, this is a cool game. I am so stoked. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like supposed to be asking you like insightful questions, and I'm like, just don't get burnt by the, the fire spinning thing. Call Toby. Yeah. Get him out Definitely. there. Toby's he's queued up. You can see him up top. I feel like I'm going to need him again oh, yeah. sometime soon. So. He's got a full special bar, too. He does. He's, he's ready to go. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I'm yeah. glad you pointed that out. That kind of cool down up there, too. Let's call him. See yeah. See, there he is. Oh, Always helping sick. out. Sick. Always helping us. You're welcome. Here. No problem. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Where does he go after that? <laughs> well, he's back in the hammer space, I guess. Till we, till yeah, we need him again. 
But yeah, I think you can get items and stuff that uh, decrease the cooldown uh, for the different allies too. So the items aren't just like health boosts and stuff like that. You actually get, uh, you can bring these guys up quicker. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of really good stuff going on here. So much going on. Right there now. is, which is why I'm like, <laughs> like looking all screen, like focus moding. Um, uh, <laughs> are you gonna, are you excited to get your hands on this yourself? Test it out for yourself. Oh. I am so excited to play this for myself because, like I said, I've been spending a lot of time playing video yeah. games the last couple of months. Uh, I played Red Dead Redemption. I got Tony Hawk oh, play nice, the other yeah. week, and it's just oh, so much fun. But this is gonna this is gonna put the icing on the Absolutely. cake because it's, it's like a classic. Oh no, a stalkling! Get out I'm, of there! I'm so glad you were here for that commentary because I was like, I don't even know <laughs> what that is or was that just killed me. Well, no, that's Those great. Those things are vicious. Let's get through. Ooh. Took some fire oh, to the face. Oh. We're okay. We're all right. He's got the Kanjig armor. Exactly. Yeah, necessary. Necessary armor here. Do a little bit more platforming uh, to show you guys. Show this off. I think we're about at the end of our time here, so I want to have a good, strong finish for you here, bud. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Cool as we oh my gosh. Really just, they look kind of mm -hmm. delicious, though, don't they? They look like rock candy. They look like rock yeah, candy monster. Really... I just kind of want to, like... <laughs> It would take me a very long time if I tried to eat would, one to yeah. death, but... <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to do that in this game. You can just smash it and pocket a piece and save it for later. If you need Maybe a... that's why Toby is only a, 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 a an ally, because that's that would be his That's his go-to attack. attack. Yeah, just, just eat, eat the them. rock monster. Yeah. Try to... <laughs> yeah. When all else fails, try to eat it. Yeah, I mean, it, it works most of the time. But in this case, we would just smash them up and we'll pocket a piece for later. That did look delicious, though. Fire, not so much. Nougat Nummy, thank you for putting them there, devs, because clearly Absolutely. I need the health if we're going to get through this last little section here. They really are throwing kind of everything at you here. A lot of platforming. Yeah. This is like the grand finale. Remember, this is on uh, on normal. So there is a troll difficulty <laughs> that you guys can try later, too. So if you really want to try troll 100% and speedrun all at the same time, good luck to you. I say good luck to you. And uh, as she says, I think I should make this challenge more difficult. I think that's a good place to end our gameplay oh, today. Dave, so that's gonna what be are the you teaser. doing to me? That's going to oh. be the teaser today. Charlie, once again, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and watching Troll Hunters, Defenders of Arcadia. Thank you so much for your commentary and your time today. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. And again, nice to put a face to a Twitter Absolutely, handle. Absolutely, yeah. It's been great chatting with you. And we want to say thanks again to our, uh, our friends over at Outright Games and Way Forward and DreamWorks as well for letting us uh, show you guys a sneak peek of the gameplay and the mini games and the sushi games uh, for Troll Hunters, Defenders of Arcadia. Once again, it's going to be out September 25th on Switch, Xbox, PS4, and PC. So, Charlie, thanks again for your time, uh, and thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Hope you get this game. Thanks, Enjoy. everybody. Let us yeah, know your speedrun records. Yeah. Take care.